the North American Rockwell OV-10 Bronco. More maneuverable than a jet and faster than a helicopter, the OV-10 Bronco is a true workhorse of the battlefield. This small, turboprop, multi-mission aircraft can be used for close air support, forward air control, armed reconnaissance, light cargo transport, and medical evacuation. With its twin booms and powerful engines, the OV-10 Bronco can take off and land from short, unimproved airstrips, making it ideal for operating from forward bases. It is also highly maneuverable, allowing it to quickly and accurately deliver firepower to its targets. It all began in the early 1960s through an unexpected collaboration. Early 1960s and two individuals, W.H. Beckett and Colonel K.P. Rice of the U.S. Marine Corps, found themselves at Naval Air Weapons Station China Lake, California. They not only met but also happened to live near each other. Beckett and Colonel Rice shared a vision. A vision for a rugged, simple, and highly effective aircraft designed for close air support and integrated with ground operations. What set their concept apart was its uniqueness. At that time, the U.S. Army was experimenting with armed helicopters and the U.S. Air Force had little interest in close air support. Their concept involved an aircraft that could operate from improvised forward air bases using roads as makeshift runways. This aircraft would have a speed range from slow to medium subsonic offering extended loiter times perfect for the role. To achieve these goals, they opted for efficient turboprop engines, which would outperform traditional piston engines. Weapons would be mounted on the center line for precise aiming. An innovative airframe was designed to mitigate back blast, ensuring safety and effectiveness. Beckett and Colonel Rice took their vision to the next level. They developed a basic platform meeting these requirements and embarked on an ambitious endeavor building a fiberglass prototype in a garage. Their passion garnered enthusiastic supporters, and they even created an informal pamphlet to spread the word about their groundbreaking concept. W.E.H. Beckett, who had retired from the Marine Corps, took the reins of their dream and went to work at North American Aviation, determined to sell the idea of this unique aircraft. Little did they know that this collaboration would lay the foundation for the remarkable OV-10 Bronco we know today. In the backdrop of the 1960s, a unique need arose in the military, the need for a versatile light attack and observation aircraft suitable for jungle fighting. The existing aircraft in these roles, like the Cessna O-1 Bird Dog and Cessna O-2 Skymaster, were considered outdated due to their slow speed and limited cargo capacity. This sparked the birth of the Lara concept, a specification that aimed to revolutionize the way military aircraft operated in challenging environments. The Lara specification was ambitious, calling for a twin-engine, two-man aircraft that could carry a hefty 2,400 pounds of cargo, six paratroopers or stretchers. It had to be capable of aerobatics, take off in just 800 feet, and even convert to an amphibious version. Eleven proposals were submitted, but one stood out the North American Rockwell NA-300. A contract for seven prototypes was awarded, although Convair protested the decision and built its Model 48 Charger as a competitor. The Charger showed promise but crashed during testing, ultimately paving the way for the Bronco's success. The Bronco took flight in July 1965, becoming a cornerstone in counterinsurgency operations for the next three decades. Though it couldn't fully realize its original concept, it proved its worth in various roles. The Bronco performed a wide range of tasks, from observation and forward air control to reconnaissance and utility transport. It even dabbled in aerial radiological reconnaissance and low-level aerial photography. During its production run, a total of 271 OV-10 were built. These aircraft were produced to serve various roles within the U.S. military and for export to other countries. The production of the OV-10 spanned several years, contributing to its legacy as a reliable workhorse. The Bronco also had several notable variants, each tailored for specific missions and operational requirements. Some of these variants include the OV-10A, which served with the U.S. Air Force and U.S. Marine Corps, and the OV-10B, designed for export to other nations. The OV-10 is aircraft with a central nacelle that houses the pilots and cargo, and twin booms that contain the engines. The most distinctive feature of the OV-10 is its twin booms, which are connected by a horizontal stabilizer. This design provided stability and allowed for the separation of the cockpit from the engines and rear fuselage, enhancing safety for the crew. The cockpit design offered excellent visibility for both crew members, 
crucial for observation and target acquisition during missions. The aircraft was designed with the ability to carry cargo, including supplies or equipment, and could also accommodate up to six paratroopers or stretchers for medical evacuation missions. The Bronco was built for versatility and could operate effectively from forward bases. It could perform short takeoffs and landings without the need for catapults or arresting wires, making it suitable for aircraft carriers and large deck amphibious assault ships. The OV-10 can also be repaired with ordinary tools. No ground equipment was required to start the engines. If necessary, the engines could operate on high-octane automobile fuel with only a slight loss of power. The OV-10 Bronco has a length of 13.41 meters, a wingspan of 12.19 meters, a height of 4.62 meters, and a wing area of 27.03 square meters. The empty weight of the Bronco is 6,893 pounds, and maximum takeoff weight is 14,444 pounds. The Bronco is powered by two Garrett T-76G 420 turboprop engines, each with a maximum power output of 1,041 horsepower. These engines are located in the twin booms on either side of the aircraft's fuselage. The Bronco has two three-bladed Hamilton standard propellers, each with a diameter of 2.59 meters. The OV-10 has a top speed of 288 miles per hour and a cruise speed of 228 miles per hour. It has a service ceiling of 30,000 feet and a maximum range of 2,020 miles with external fuel tanks. The OV-10's engines are known for their reliability and durability. They can operate on a variety of fuels, including high-octane automobile fuel. The OV-10B Bronco variant was manufactured for Germany as a target tug. In the early 1970s, they received 18 aircraft. The Bronco was extensively used by the United States Marine Corps and the United States Air Force during the Vietnam War. Beyond Vietnam, the OV-10 continued to be used for counterinsurgency operations and special operations missions. It was employed in conflicts such as the Gulf War and Operation Just Cause in Panama. The Philippines operated OV-10 Broncos for counterinsurgency operations and patrol missions against piracy. They used the OV-10 for many years and later replaced it with more modern aircraft. Indonesia also used the OV-10 for counterinsurgency operations and maritime patrol. The aircraft was modified to carry a variety of weapons and sensors. Many OV-10 Broncos were retired from military service in the late 20th century. Some found new life in civilian roles, including firefighting and aerial survey work. Some retired OV-10 Broncos are on display in aviation museums around the world, showcasing their historical significance. In its role as a close support, low-flying, light-strike aircraft, the Bronco excelled in armament capabilities. It typically carried four 7.62mm M60C machine guns in fuselage. The Bronco had the capacity to carry up to 3,600 pounds of mixed ordnance externally, distributed across one under fuselage, four under sponson, and two underwing weapons store stations. Its armament options included air-to-surface rockets in seven or 19 tube launchers, capable of firing 2.75 inches rockets, or two or four shot launchers for five inches rockets like the folding fin aerial rocket or wraparound fin aircraft rockets. The Bronco could also engage aerial threats with two wing-mounted nine Sidewinder short-ranged air-to-air missiles. Additional munitions could be mounted, such as MK4 series gun pods, and it could carry conventional bombs. If necessary, external fuel tanks could be substituted for armament. Operational history revealed certain design weaknesses in the Bronco. Notably, it suffered from significant underpowering, leading to crashes in the challenging terrain of Vietnam where pilots struggled to gain altitude rapidly. It's worth noting that no OV-10 pilot survived an aircraft ditching incident. During the Vietnam War, a total of 64 OV-10 Broncos were lost in combat. These losses occurred due to various reasons, including enemy fire, accidents, and mechanical failures.